the sun's going down. We got some lights out here so we can get it videoed. But she's got that slime. She's got the giant udder. She tells me multiple children. She always has a big udder, but not that big. We got this girl. And if you can tell how she's acting, definitely, definitely gonna be soon. She's trying to get the smells. That's why she's doing that with her lip. It's really funny. And she wants a pet, huh, baby? I was actually a little worried. Well, I've been worried through this whole process for like days now. I've had knots in my stomach over this goat. And I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, earlier today I was I was nervous because she hadn't even dilated, but she had lost her ligaments, and all through the night we were with her and she was acting weird, and then all of a sudden she wasn't acting anyway, but she never got her ligaments back or anything. So this I, I just feel really good about it, you guys. I think we're going to be okay, especially since I felt the kid. I don't feel anything. Um you know, when I went in just the last time I checked to see if she was dilated and, and definitely completely dilated in the kid, it's in the canal. So all she needs to do is start pushing when she's ready. Um, but I didn't feel any rectum or, or not rectum, I, I didn't feel an anal prolapse or anything like I had been feeling. And it doesn't, it's not sticking out or anything right now. So maybe because the head's in position, it's just pushing that back up and we're not even going to have an issue in that would be amazing so I think I'm feeling like that that's gonna be the case and we're gonna be just fine so hopefully within the next hour but yeah I was like oh my gosh what if she goes into the night again because I am dead tired I have not slept so <laughs> the sooner the better her udder is giant so she's having a good contraction again she's opening up in the vulva too but she's been pretty poochy and stuff, so it's just kind of hard to... I'm sorry, girl. Get that camera out of my rear. All right, baby. I know. But she was almost starting to act like she was going to bed down, so which she hasn't been doing a lot of, but with the prolapse, it's better if she's standing, so I'm okay if she continues to stand. I'm getting there, Mama. So my hope here is that when she starts pushing, I don't necessarily have to assist, but I might have to get the prolapse out of the way for the babies to come out, so we'll just have to see how it all goes every labor it's way better if they can just naturally deliver which I'm thinking she's gonna be okay to do so and hopefully all these kids are positioned properly or small enough because she is a very wide doe it's really dark over here now she's trying to come and cuddle next to us but anyway or she's a very I mean she's a wide doe so even if she has like a potential breech kid or something like that she could pass them as long as they're small and not her typical giant monster kids. But I don't think that's going to be the case this time. When I felt the little face, it didn't feel very big, so when I went in to check. So we're just going to have to see. It is about 8 o'clock. Actually, it's 8.20. About 8.20. And still nothing. She, she keeps having more slime, really, really hard contractions. You can tell they're getting super hard now. She keeps acting like she's going to bed down, but has not laid down yet. So, it's got to be soon, guys. Again, I felt the baby's face. Like, they're positioned in the canal. She has not pushed, so. My mentor, who's been helping me through this whole thing, said, from the time you loop, you know, in her experience, she's saying 9 o'clock, so we'll see if she is right on target. But, 
Either way, definitely getting closer. Oh, girl. I just have to not fall asleep. I won't, I promise. I'm kidding. I won't. I won't. I won't. Come on, babies. There's a baby right there with a bubble coming out. Didn't look like any prolapse was going to come out. She wanted to lay down and do it. So here we go. Good girl, lay down. Oh. That's a good girl. the bubble. Hot mess. Right. Right up against. Oh, good girl. Bad spot. Okay. water breaking. Got this, Mama.
Come on, girl. Good girl. That baby's right there. Come on. You're good. I know. There's that bubble right there. Let's get it out. Big time losing fluid. The sack is busted for sure. All over her big ol' udder. Still yet to really give a good push. Come on, girl. The first one's the hardest. Starting to feel really nervous that she hasn't started pushing, like little tiny pushes. I mean, the water's breaking and whatnot, but she's not prolapsing or anything right now, but she doesn't seem to be really pushing the kid out. Lots of slime, lots of fluid, no kid. We saw that bubble, she never actually got it out. She never really pushed it all either. It's almost like just the contraction set it to its position there, but. Give her a little more time to start pushing. She should have been pushing by now. Lots of fluid, no baby. No pushing. <sighs> okay. So it's been quite some time. She just keeps squatting. Nothing but fluid just keeps coming out. We saw the bubble presenting, and that was 
quite some time ago, and she keeps squatting like she's wanting to pee the kid out or something, and it's not coming. Um, so I'm going to see. Maybe I can help her. It's probably a big kid. But she should absolutely be pushing by now. Let's see if she'll let me. Good job, Lacey. Shocker, a big baby. Glennis, get all that out, mister. any moon spots. Looks like a black boy like his mama.
weren't ready to come out, man. Got another one coming, girl? She definitely has more. squat thing again. She's got another one coming. Mm, here we go. Good girl. Come on. There's a bubble. Come on, girl. Come on, Lacey. Here we go. God, these are big ones. Why do you always have to have huge kids? Well, that, that 
avoid getting up. I bet she's got another one in there, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm thinking she does. She's looking pretty big. Those are some big kids. Figures. Figures, Lacey. A moon spot. Couple back here. He's actually gonna be a dark buckskin now that she got him cleaned off. He's pretty. Girl, you got another one in there? Let's just get it out. He's already getting under there. Ooh, almost. He almost got it, even. It's already getting up. Look at his little white nose. Well, I bumped her. I don't feel nothing else in there but some soft placenta bouncing back. So, after all of this, thinking she had a million kids in there, she just has a big old letter. Because she had two giant boys. You stinkers. Ooh. Is that a moon spot teardrop? Yeah? Look. Is it? Let's see. That light's messing with the camera. That's a little moon spot teardrop. Oh, bless you. And come over here with your mama. There you go, mama. Clean him, he's gold. He's hungry. They're almost too big to get under their mother. Well, there you have it, guys. Chock full of two giants.
can I be seen to her big belly? All right, Mama. this kid he's been out here with the long haul for with me for the long haul with me I'm so tired I can't even say it passed out he almost made it Good job, Lacey. All that worry and you did just fine. Thank goodness. Don't tell me she's about to have another kid. Oh, well, she just peed. Maybe. feel anything when I bumped her, but she is giant. This one's super up there in the canal. Those are active, strong boys. I'm glad I induced her, man. What a couple of long days with this girl. I cannot even tell you how relieved I am, and I'm going to sleep good tonight, you guys. We are so tired. She's done. I've bumped her. I don't feel anything. And these babies are super strong, huge, up and already starting to eat, so never seen Lacey ever get that big, even when she had those really two bucks I was telling you about. Nor have I seen her utter that big, so. She did really good though. I'm super proud of her. And it all turned out well. Nothing horrible happened. Cause I was just a hot mess about it. But, um, that's it guys. This is a wrap. Doe 14 for 2020. And all ended well. So can't ask for more. I don't even care that they're bucks. It ended well. Everybody's alive and everybody's good. Alright, thanks so much for watching guys. See you soon.